Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today is a special day because I'm not covering the Chad Daybell case today. You'll get coverage of what occurs today, tomorrow. It's Monday. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to backtrack a little bit. There was a case a few weeks ago that I did not cover. So I spent the weekend kind of perusing, you know, getting a feel for the case, getting a feel for what happened. And I thought, you know, I'll spend today, spend a little time talking about it and telling you all about it. And we'll find out how it turned out. You'll get it all in one episode. How's that? So back on July 30th of 2022, Nikolai Mew, that day, he he's the defendant. He and his wife leave their home at 930 in the morning and they're headed to meet up with some friends and they're going to go to this campground, River's Edge, Camp, River's Edge Campground, and they're going to rent some tubes and go down the Apple River. Apparently, and it looks like a lot of fun, actually. You could, they put put the tubes together, you know, if you've got a whole group of people and you just all float down the river together, like one big party, you bring a cooler, have some beers and you spend the day on the river. I think that sounds really cool. So about 1045, they, he and his wife, uh, Nicholas, Mew and his wife, they arrive at uh, the river's edge. They rent their rafts. They, they meet up with their friends. Now, Nicholas, he's about... 50 uh, at the time, you think he was 52 years old. So about 1130, they've got everything squared away and they start floating down the river with their friends. So it must be a very long river because about 345 that day, the incident occurs. And during this incident, a murder happens. Um, a 17 year old by the name of Isaac Schumann is murdered. What happened? Well, Nicholas, he gets, he leaves his group. He's got his snorkeling gear and he's looking for one of his friends in the group had dropped their cell phone into the water. He's looking for the cell phone and he sees the group, uh, a group ahead of him of teenagers. And he thinks they're signaling that they found something. So he's approaching them with his scuba gear his you know goggles and snorkel and they began heckling him and uh there's another group called the carlson group uh they are floating along the river as well and they see this commotion and they decide they're going to get involved so they come over now there's there's six boys in the teenage group these six boys that morning, they had met up at the Stillwater High School. They're like, we're going to go tubing today down the Apple River. So they rent tubes at River's Edge and they're in this group of teenagers. So this Carlson group has a whole bunch more people. So at one point during this commotion, there are 17 people surrounding Nicholas Mew on, th on at least three sides. But the side that's behind him is deeper water and in the water that they're in, they're all, it's never, it's not more than two, three feet deep. So the boys, the teenage boys had been drinking. I think the Carlson group had been drinking too, because this is what you do when you go down the upper river, you drink. Well, the boys are drinking, they're smoking their weed and they're just having a good old time. Well, they are heckling the heck out of this guy, pushing, shoving. Um, they, they, the claim is that Nicholas punched one of the women that came over from the Carlson group. And that's when everything got started. Next thing you know, five people have been stabbed. Nicholas takes a knife out of his right front pocket and starts stabbing people. Uh, not all of it is captured on video. Some of it is. It's It goes very quickly. It's like 28 seconds total from the time he allegedly throws a punch. You don't see the punch on the video. Um, one of the six boys is filming everything. And yet, so you don't see the punch on the video, but you see what ensues afterwards. At one point, you can see uh, a girl named Riley. She was with the Carlson group, the other tubers. She, You see her kind of walking away, and you can see 
on her side where she's been stabbed. And she's like, oh my gosh. Now other people are getting involved because they think it's just like, you know, a punching fight. They're trying to break it up. Um, but Dante Carlson gets stabbed. Dante was pushing this guy in the water. He gets stabbed in the stomach with a penetrating wound. And then a guy named AJ, he's also one of the pushing, shoving guys. He gets stabbed. Meanwhile, poor Isaac. <laughs> I felt sorry for Isaac. You know, he's the one that murdered. But during all this commotion, Isaac's back holding the tube. He's not saying anything to anybody. He's just kind of observing all this. But, you know, when the fights start, he comes a little closer. He gets stabbed. He's he's killed. He dies within minutes. The stab wound penetrates his heart. Now, I'm going to show you the video. Um, there's some blood in the video, but you don't, it's not that graphic. It's, uh, it does grab your attention uh, because, you know, it's, it's a, it's a fight going on, but um, here's the video. What is he on? Whoa! 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 Get away from us. What? Dude, what are you doing? What's going on with y'all? He's on camera. Guys, let's go. Guys on camera. He's on camera. Yo, the new iPhone got that good quality. What are you saying? Get away from us. Get away from us. Get away from us. Yeah, what the hell? Who is this? Yes! 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 For the, for the culture! For the culture! Who is that? For the culture! Who is that? Who the hell is this? Go! It doesn't matter! He said he was looking for a little girl! He said he was looking for a little girl! Yeah, that's exactly what he said. We're not a sound. I even have that part on camera. What the hell is this guy's problem, bro? We're trying to have fun. He's going to call you. He's going to kill you. We don't want this on camera. If you want to watch it over and over again, you can because it's it goes very quickly. It's like three minutes total from start to finish the video. So Nicholas Mew, this trial starts, he's claiming self-defense. And during the trial, he does take the stand in his own defense. 
uh, one of the jurors interviewed afterwards said he didn't really do himself many favors. He kept saying during his self-defense that he was standing his ground. Well, Minnesota is not a stand your ground state. Do you remember the popcorn murder in Florida? Florida is a stand your ground state. In other words, you have no duty to retreat if someone is coming after you. You can defend yourself. That's not the law in Minnesota. He didn't have a duty. He, 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 apparently in Minnesota, he should have retreated, is, is what you're saying. So when you're looking at this video, and you can go back and watch it again, the question is, did he have the time and the opportunity to walk away from this? I can show you a video one more time. Here it goes. What is he on? Whoa! 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 Where's the way? What are you talking about? Yeah. What the hell are you talking about? What? What? What's going on with y'all homies? He's on camera. Guys, let's He's on Yo, them new iPhones got that good quality. What do you say? <laughs> yeah, what the hell? Who is this? Yes! 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 For the, for the culture! For the culture! Who is that? For the culture! Who is that? Who the hell is this? Go! It doesn't matter! He said he was looking for little girl! He said he was looking for little girl! You're looking for little girl? Yeah! That's exactly what he said! We're gonna stop! I didn't have that part on camera! What the hell is this guy's problem, bro? This guy's looking for little girl! We're trying to have fun! He's gonna call you! He's gonna take you! We don't want this What the fuck? What the fuck? He's dying! He's dying, bro! Oh my god! 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 Are we serious? Is it real? Oh my god! Who is that? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Is this real? Wait, 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 wait. That's not bad! That's not bad! That's not bad! That's not bad! That's not Isaac! Oh my god! Oh my god! This is real! This is real! I think he did. I feel bad for the man. He's being gaslighted. No question. These kids are just, you know, the only reason these other people, the Carlson group starts coming over is because they're hollering, yelling. He's a, you know, you're a child molester. You're a rapist. And they're like, whoa, who is this guy? We got to, we got to go protect these teenagers from this guy. Oh, pretty, pretty chilling. Very, very chilling. So Nicholas is charged with four counts of attempted first degree intentional homicide for the four of the five people he stabbed. He is charged with battery for the woman he punched in the face. Now, different witnesses during this trial said they saw him punch her in the face. 
uh, they one said they he saw him slap her. Another one said he didn't say anything. You know, it's not on film. We don't really know if she was punched or slapped or whatever. But when she comes during the video, you'll see her come back onto the into the film. She's wearing like a one piece suit. She's got blonde hair. Her her glasses, sunglasses are off. So probably she did something hit her face in any case. So he's charged with those four counts. He's also charged with first degree intentional homicide. But the jury is allowed to find lesser included offenses, which um, thank God, because I, I just think this is one of those situations that should not have happened, obviously. Um, Should he have walked away? I, yeah, he should have. Why do you have a knife in your pocket? But once it's the ball got rolling and he's in the middle of this, I genuinely feel like he probably feared that this was going to, you know, it was escalating and he needed to get himself out of it somehow. I'm not sure a knife is the way to go. One of the people that testified was a trauma surgeon. So two of one, like I said, Isaac Schumann, he died on the scene. He died within minutes. He was, had no pulse. They continued CPR for quite some time. Um, and it was very difficult for the responders to get to these people. They could, you, you, could, you could see a bridge in the distance and there were emergency responders on that bridge, but they had to like go around and you know, to this campground and find the campground and then get in the water. So it, it took a little while for them to get there, get to them. Then they had to wade through the water uh, to get to the victims. Now, the, the guy named AJ, who was one of the guys pushing him into the water, he was, he was stabbed and he was critical. And you can see, I saw in some body cam footage, um, here, watch the body cam footage. Watch this. This is an officer arriving on the scene. Hello? Okay. What is the suspect was? Yeah. 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 Okay. Have them hold it. Right. Hold it. AJ, you hold my hand. Squeeze my hand, man. Squeeze my hand. Squeeze my hand. So good, AJ. You're doing so good. So good. Squeeze my hand. Squeeze my hand right now. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. Right now. Right now. So good. So good. So good. So good. So good. Okay. We're right here. You're right here. We're right here with you, AJ. We're right here with you. You hear me? 49 to 19. I know, I know, AJ. I know, AJ. We're right here. All right. Go ahead for 19. We're here for you. We're here for you. Do you want me to go up river and start coming down, or I'm at the bridge right now? You want to start looking for the suspect? I'll work on a description. I heard one person say scuba gear. Forty-five through dispatch. We're doing CPR. Forty-five through CPR. You guys see what happened? Who did it? You're busy with you know who it is? No, no, it's just some rando on the river. He's looking for five, five, nine, five, ten Russian-looking guy. He went somewhere over there. Where's he going? Hey, you see him? Hey! I think they just went after him. I think he's hey, up there. You get out of there! Get out! Get out! Get out. Where are you guys going? Wait, we need to know what it looks like. We got a lot of cops in the area. What does he look like? I don't fucking know. Hey, we got a canine coming. We can't track him if you guys tear up the whole center. Oh, 36. Was our furthest downriver casualty point? 
64 bridge. 10 4 believed to be going down river. I can head straight down there. Negative. Suspect went under the woods at the initial location, a quarter mile upriver from the 64 bridge. 10 4. Did he go off on the north or south bank? South bank. The cider cars are on. Chase, do you want me to continue up to you or do you want me to take my squad up the road further into the woods? Yep. Up the river. The question. Eric, just go to the woods. We need to see EMS here, get these people out of here. I just talked to rescue. They're working on getting the boat into the water and up to you Just hold that there, okay? Just leave that there. Yeah, okay. 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 You hold on, okay? okay. Ten four. Gil has to squeeze past their squads and stuff. Copy. I'll point that way. What the what the suspect wearing? Some shorts, clothes. No shirts and a t-shirt. Okay. A, a white t-shirt. I know. He has a t-shirt off and a black belly. Older man. Older man. He's in his fifties, sixties. He just has a knife. Forty-six to twenty-nine. I'm just coming through the ridge. Yeah, I was holding pressure on his stomach. Hold what? Pressure. Yep, I'll go to the end of the Sunrise Trail and we'll link up there. 8019 dispatch. Suspect information. 8019 goes to suspect. Being told a white male, some shorts, shirtless, armed with a knife. Possibly 50 years old. One this person described him as Russian looking. Ten four. Do we have a color on those swim shorts? Negative. Can't get that yet. Uh, also, two of the friends of the person ran off into the woods. We're looking for the suspects. We have some other people contaminating the area. Shirtless wearing unknown color swim shorts with a knife and two friends of victims are out looking for the suspect as well. 1608. 8019 dispatch. 8019. Disregard. Where did the suspect go into the woods at? I, I didn't Somewhere see that. Right I, here. I have this way. We have a canine coming. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I, I know. I know. Okay. I saw him before the fight started. I have a rag. I don't know how much it's going to help. And then he but if it's going to help anybody, okay. if you want to fight with another rag. One here, one there. 8844889. They don't know. Okay. No one knows. Okay. That's, they said this region. They don't know exactly where. Okay. Uh, I have these two trauma bits. Bandage. I got a tourniquet and some quick clot Z fold. His guts are hanging out. The other one, I haven't been over to that one yet. Let's throw that on his person. 4429, I'll tell the broad. Uh, we're just getting off of the six. Where do you need us? I think 29 up the road here, farther. Try to set yeah. up perimeter. Uh, at the end of Sunrise Trail here, it's pretty thick. I'm not going to be able to see much down here. I would say go to the highway and start looking on that way. Ten four, we'll be rubbed the highway. Twenty six dispatch, Hold on to me, okay? Eighty to the dispatch. Eighty nineteen. Our two most critical patients are up here. Upper river. 
Is this? No, 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 no. You guys see him? Yeah, we need an ATS. Two critical patients up the river. Do you have a team to go to extract them? I didn't catch that. We're a quarter mile up river from the bridge. We can see the squads. One, no vitals. Keep fire in progress. Ten forty nineteen. I believe I have EMS in the area. Do we have any helicopters en route for Lake View or Life Link? Affirmative. Two helicopters at this time. 8821 dispatch. Flooded tens of mile up river from the bridge. We have a male suspect with a abdominal stab wound and a lacerated to the leg. We have another male subject with a lateral flash across his abdomen. And we have one subject with a stab wound to the chest. Feet down in progress. Central three victims, one tenth of a mile up the river, leg stab, open abdomen, and a chest stab. Ellie, I'm annoying. I know I'm annoying. I know I'm annoying. I know I'm annoying. I know. I'm annoying. Hey, 16, 80, 19. Go ahead. Do we need additional agencies to assist with uh, perimeter? Yes. And I don't know, State Patrol's helicopter was in the area of Minnesota. I don't know if that's something we can utilize. Hey, 16 dispatch. If nurse one's available and see if Polk County can send some deputies down. Keep talking, keep talking. You're doing so fine. for nurse from Curtis Cubby. Keep going. Alright. You got that, Nate. Sergeant Duran, did were you able to watch that as we all watched it? Yes. So it, Obviously, this officer is very busy. Now, people are out looking for him because after the stabbing, Nicholas walks back to his group. He just walks back to his group. They keep on going. He doesn't tell anybody in the group what happened because he he's afraid that they're going to go back and like it's going to escalate even further. So the police, after you can see from this body cam, everybody's looking. They think he went off into the woods somewhere and they're looking and they're searching everywhere for him. And they're giving, trying to give a description of him. Finally, the cameraman with the original video shows him some still footage of this, of Nicholas. So what they do is they send people, they send officers to the exit where, where everybody exits the river and he's apprehended there. And, and, and he tells them right away, listen, I was in self-defense mode. But he is taken into custody and held on a $1 million bond. So the trauma surgeon, when he testifies, he was uh, the first victim that arrives is Riley Madison, the girl that was stabbed in the chest or in the abdomen. So uh, he said she had an open wound to her abdomen. And, you know, when you see the the location of this wound, he couldn't tell if it had penetrated the chest, the abdomen, or both. So he takes her, they immediately book an OR, they take her to surgery, and just as the surgery is about to start, he gets notified that there's someone more critical than Riley that he needs to go work on. So he calls the chief resident to come finish this exploratory emergency surgery on Riley so he can go and respond to AJ, who is bleeding out. And um, he said, ultimately, Riley... Uh, the, pen, the knife had penetrated her stomach twice and her abdomen. So she ended up having multiple surgeries. Then you have, uh, then he goes to respond to AJ. So AJ comes in by life flight. They helicoptered him from the, the river to this hospital. And during the flight, he goes into cardiac arrest. And they resuscitate him for nine minutes. They intubate him where they put the tube down into his lungs and they, they're giving him oxygen. Like he is, he's dead. So he, they, they're pumping him and they're getting, doing everything they can. So uh, he, 
he's alive when he gets to the hospital. So in the hospital, um, this doctor says they look, you know, he, they took one look. They're like, get him to the OR. He was in the OR within five minutes. But on the way to the OR, his heart stops again. So again, they're, they bring him back to life. And then they start doing surgery. The doctor said he was uh, in hemorrhagic shock. It's like he was, he lost so much blood that it put his whole body in shock. So from the blood loss, and they had to give him multiple transfusions of blood. His stab wound went from the sternum, which is right here, all the way down. There's my rabbit. <laughs> all the way down to the rabbit's mouth. Like, this long ass, like this. Oh my God. How horrible. Anyway. Um, sternum to pelvis stab wound. So it, it, it um, damaged the right iliac artery. That's where all the blood was coming from the right iliac vein. And he had three injuries to the small intestine and one injury to his colon. Witnesses said his bowel was hanging out at the scene and they were holding it back in pressure, holding him in. And you can say from that body cam, if you notice during the body cam, they kept telling, telling him, hold on, hold on, AJ, you're doing okay. You know, he was awake during this whole thing, you know, and he's bleeding out. And that's why by the time they, they got him into the helicopter, he had lost so much blood that his heart stopped. So he survives. Thank God he survives. Unlike Isaac, who died on the scene. So fast forward through this case. They you hear from all the all the all the people on the scene, the witnesses, the the, the Carlson group, all the teenage boys. You hear from everybody. And different versions, and you hear from Nicholas. So the jury deliberated for a few days and they come back. The verdicts read as follows. As to count one of the information, Isaac Schumann, the jury finds Nikolai Mew guilty of first degree reckless homicide as submitted. Question, did Mr. Mew commit the crime while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. As to count two of the information, Alexander Martin, the jury finds Nikolai Mew guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as submitted. Did Mr. Mew commit the crime while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. As to count three of the information, Dante Carlson, the jury finds Nikolai Mew guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as submitted. Did Mr. Mew commit the crime while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. As to count four of the information, Anthony Carlson, the jury finds Nikolai Mew Guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as submitted. Did Mr. Mew commit the crime while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. As to count five of the information, Riley Madison, the jury finds Nikolai Mew guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as submitted. Did Mr. Mew commit the crime while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. As to count six of the information, Madison Cohen, the jury finds Nikolai Mew guilty of battery as charged. Did Mr. Mew commit the crime while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. Uh, members of the jury, uh, I do have to verify that this is in fact a unanimous verdict. Uh, so I'm going to ask each of you if I correctly read the verdict uh, and if you agree with it. Uh, according to this juror that was interviewed, the 12 out of the 12 jurors, two or three of the jurors were insisting on the highest charge. They felt he was totally responsible, should have walked away. The other nine jurors were like, no, uh -uh, not entirely his fault. So they agreed on the lesser included offenses for everything. So he was found guilty of four counts of first degree, first degree recklessly endangering safety which is different than attempted intentional homicide and uh, a count, one count of battery and one count of reckless homicide. So his sentencing will be July 31st. And I will make sure I watch that and bring you whatever the sentence is. Now, 
to my knowledge, he's already served two years. I don't know that he got out on the million dollar bond. He could have, I'm not sure. Let me check. Hold on. So yes. So yes, he has been in prison for those for the past two years and will spend the next six weeks in prison. Now the judge could sentence him concurrent for each charge that he was found on or consecutive. If the judge sentences him consecutive, uh, he could serve up to a hundred years in prison with credit for the two that he's already served. So interesting, interesting case. Let me know in the comments, did he have the opportunity to walk away? Let me know what you think of the result. Have a great day, everybody. I will see you tomorrow in Crafty and Crime Daily. Bye.